Hello, I'm Ines from TorridCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to fake motion blur in Adobe After Effects. A lot of people have been asking me how to do this and they said CC Force Motion Blur didn't work. Um, I will show you that it does but you probably forgot a setting to enable. Um, so yeah, I've created this Ninja Star in Cinema 4D and as you can see over here while it's spinning around it looks pretty bad without motion blur so we want to give it a little bit of realism and we're going to import it in After Effects to do so. Um, if you're going too complex with your uh, project and you really need some complex motion blur going on I would recommend buying a plugin that does the job because CC Force Motion Blur isn't going to work all of the time but for this project it will be just fine because it's just the Ninja Star that has to uh, get some motion blur so we'll drag this clip to a new composition on the icon over here and as you can see if we pre render this um, it will be pretty fast to render but the motion blur is going to increase our render time a lot so we'll have to need some patience while rendering your project and while you're still working on it I would uh, recommend not using the motion blur until the end so um, okay if we dra uh, drag CC force motion blur onto our layer you can see nothing is changing and everything looks just the same but um, why is that? Because of the um, frame blending over here. So if you're going to use motion blur, CC force motion blur, we'll need to enable the frame blending for the, uh, for the clip over here. So this is half quality and this is full quality. So just double click it and then you'll have full quality frame blending and again nothing is changing. And that's because you didn't enable the frame blending for the composition. So why do you do that is because while you're working you can just deselect this and it can work without any lag or anything. So it will still render as fast as, uh, as it did before but once you enable it um, frame blending the render time is going to increase a lot so you'll need some patience as I said and as you can see right, right away it's taking a lot longer than before but um, I wouldn't recommend using the A blur sample because as you can see over here it's looking not so good as it should be so you can see um, the ninja star is just duplicating itself so I'm going to use the uh, 16 for the motion blur over there. Okay, um, I'm going to change this to 16. Okay, and that will increase it, and we'll make uh, we'll do a better job than 8. I'm also going to change the shutter angle to 300 because my ninja star is supposed to go fast, and the faster object is going, the more I should increase the shutter angle. Um, so as you can see right now, it's looking pretty good. And maybe 300 is a little bit too much. Change to 200 just to see um, all those settings. Okay, and now I'm going to pre render this by hitting zero on the numpad of your keyboard. You can do so, and it's taking a lot of time right now. So I will only enable it once you're ready to render. I'm going to trim this count for a second just so we can see the fast uh, part of our tutorial. Okay. I'm not gonna render it for too long because else all you guys should be waiting. I can pause the video, but I don't feel like. So as you can see, um, it's giving a nice motion blur if it's spinning, but it's not spinning. It's just looping, so don't worry, guys. <laughs> okay, so um, it's giving a pretty nice effect for uh, the realism, and it's an intern plugin, so you don't have to pay anything. It's coming into After Effects right away. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of other tutorials for After Effects, Sigma 4D, Photoshop, uh, all other kinds of software that I use. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.